Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to our circle, continuing our work of invoking light throughout Jerusalem meditation. It's an auspicious moment of the end of Pisces before we enter Aries. It's time of meeting of Alpha and Omega. So it's very special to be together at this moment. Over to you, Uta. Thanks. Hello, friends. Welcome to our Jerusalem meditation at this equinox opportunity. Um, the project is evolving. It's an experiment in being a light station. We do that together for Jerusalem and also each of us for our own location. And that's how we weave unity between our different locations and with Jerusalem. Let's take a moment to get a sense of us as a group being spread all over the earth. We are so used to do these webinars, but if we think about it, how we each are on this one earth, each in our own location. And we hold these links between us um, through our shared intention as part of the new group of world service which is to contribute something to our world by learning together to be part of the Ajna center of the planet. We're becoming together a planetary presence while each of us is firmly with our feet on the ground on the location that we are in. So we are also linked through the earth grid. And we, we are like a node, each one in the etheric body of the planet. So by connecting intentionally, we weave a flow of energy also in the earth grid. We trace lines of connection within the earth grid within the garment of the mother of the world so before we begin the meditation let us just take us a, a moment to stand consciously in our own location as a light station a conscious node in the earth fabric To sense this, this radiance, we have a presence, a radiant presence. Okay, and now we turn our awareness to Jerusalem, one node, a major acupuncture point in the etheric body of the planet. And in order to ground us there, uh, Helen will give a brief report of some current happenings on the ground. Over to you, Helen. Hello from Jerusalem. Yes, 
our actual acupuncture point here. Um, is in the middle of uh, a big crisis in this country. And as uh, we mentioned last time, this uh, the um, crisis is around the this government that has been elected three months ago, very right wing, extremist, and religious, extremely religious, taking over the legal system and uh, that curbs the independence of the courts. So this crisis is uh, culminating now to a level which might degenerate into uh, what we say in Hebrew, a war of brothers. Milchem etachim. Um, every other day, there are huge demonstrations all over the country of maybe, you know, one million or more people protesting the politicization of the judiciary and the establishment of laws dictated by the religious parties because they will infringe the basic freedom of the people. And they will bring our Israeli democracy into a dictatorship, which is uh, a turning point in the life of our society. And those demonstrations include a wide spectrum of citizens, secular as well as religious, liberal as well as nationalists, right and left wing, no matter who they voted for, all expressing their anxiety and their anger of uh, losing the basics of democracy and uh, the individual freedom. When I'm talking about um, a spectrum of citizens, I really am not sure if uh, Arab, Arab uh, citizens participate. I should ask Efrat if she knows about that, if she's, uh, if she can say something about that. And uh, this uh, legal um, legal revolution will have devastating consequences on the Israeli society, disintegrating it on all levels. I just heard. <laughs> the news now before we enter this uh, <clears throat> this uh, session and uh, one example I heard uh, that uh, yeah, there's a, a law that has suggested separating men and women in public entertainment places for instance this is it you know really we are not only protesting but uh, trying to save what is left of, uh, of uh, freedom, individual freedom and, and sanity in this society. Uh, this is where we stand here. And this um, uh, wonderful expression of uh, not accepting uh, what wants to be imposed upon us now. Yeah. Helen, could you say a word also about what's going on in the military? Um, in, uh, yes, in the military also, but in all, all the, the, the segments of, of society. I mean, the, the military, um, um, many, uh, um, it's it's endangering uh, this this uh, this situation is endangering also the military because people i would rather have it flat explain it if it's possible or you because i don't really have the words i know that um, 
that many, many uh, generals and, and uh, military people from the past um, are afraid that uh, the people would not uh, would not mobilize uh, in the army, and it will be the disintegration of the army. But I'm not a specialist in that. I just can say what I uh, what I hear. Yeah, and say about the Arab society and about the army. Uh, in the Arab society, there is also a voice that say that uh, they don't care who will be in the government because uh, either way. Uh, the Israeli government doesn't count them and do not change their uh, condition of life, which is not so true. And another voice that really participate in the demonstration and people are uh, speaks in the demonstration. Uh, there are few uh, Arab uh, small towns that have demonstration. So we can hear their voice, but not uh, so strongly. Uh, about the army, the Israeli army, based on the reserve soldier and uh, um, soldier who it it's, has to go, it's, it's a duty. So uh, most of the, it's a um, huge part of the army uh, based on a reserve, uh, which are, actually citizen and they don't have to go to the army if the army called them and they say that they have a, they signed a contract with democrat country and that they will not serve a dictatorship uh, government so it's a huge huge uh, uh, era how do you say it a cleavage. Divide. Divide. Yes. Divide even in the army. We can see that this uh, cleavage is goes through the Amud um, Shidra, how do you say? The spine of all, every one and each of the Israeli parties, um, sectors, uh, occupation um, all over the country. It is a really huge fight now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Turmoil, big, big turmoil, and we have turmoil, of course, in many places, some more, some less. But it's, it's uh, as we all know, it's a crisis, a turmoil all over our planet. And that's why it's so important now to stretch our consciousness, to really embrace the Earth as a living being to work with the earth grid as a whole. Yeah, so in the meditation that we will do now, we will first uh, work together on this acupuncture point, specific point of Jerusalem and the area. And we do this as a group, as a kind of a relay station, a connector between the spirit of peace overlighting Jerusalem and the earth grid beneath the city. So we are kind of like a conductor, maybe you call it transducer between spirit and matter. So we will be anchoring the high vibration in the earth grid underneath the city. And from there then we act as a point of distribution for this energy of unity 
spreading it around the world. And at the end, we will each one of us ground it wherever we live in our own place and circumstance. Okay. So let us enter now in, into the meditation and do it as weavers and as magicians, as a magical act. So touching base with our inner silence. Sitting well in our physical body, consciously in our physical body and opening to the earth energies, connecting. Connecting to the mother of the world. Resting, breathing, allowing our heart to open, and our mind to be at peace. And letting our soul light shine through our outer form. Coming now together in our etheric outpost in the aura of Jerusalem. And consciously entering this space now, this place of harmonious order. Joining our radiance together. Letting our hearts swing into resonance. And our minds weave a telepathic field, synchronizing We stand together, soul to soul. As a focal point in Jerusalem, we are linked into the planetary network of world servers. Let us feel this network for a moment the Ajna center of the planet. And as the Ajna center, let us now establish a resonance with our higher co-workers in the ashramic world, in the heart center of the planet.
invoking their cooperation. and knowing it to be there. So we take up now our function as a light station within the aura of Jerusalem at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. We tune now upwards, tuning our hearts and our minds beyond the outer turmoil to the very high note that is overlighting Jerusalem to the spirit of peace overlighting the city we take a few moments in silent receptivity just Letting ourselves be filled with this high energy, releasing all else.
Gently bringing our focus back now into our light station at the midway point. And collecting the high vibration into it. And let us now hold this energy with our deep heart between the shoulder blades. Where the heart and the will become one. molding the energy into the will to love. And holding it at a point of tension. And now releasing it downwards into the earth beneath the city. See it anchoring and spreading into the earth grid. And we visualize the will to love stream into the city, becoming available to the consciousness of the citizens. All citizens. And see it especially fortifying and protecting those who stand up for the human values of justice and honesty and freedom and respect for all. See it stream forth gradually to everyone gradually entering and conditioning people's consciousness, gradually raising it from separation consciousness to unity consciousness. And visualize Golden Deva Builders helping us in this transformative process, substantiating this intent, the will to love, the will to unity. In spite of all. And we affirm this with heartfelt intent. The souls of all are one and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact due service. We seek to heal, not hurt. 
Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole area of Israel-Palestine. Making hearts golden, lifting minds into unity consciousness. See the golden wave spread further into the nations of the Middle East, unifying, reordering, establishing a grid of right relations. And seeing it expand eastwards, qualifying the etheric body of the planet we visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. Further to New York. To London and Geneva and back to Jerusalem and visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet uniting us all Visualizing this flow within the earth grid, golden energy, and focusing now our consciousness fully back into our own physical location on this planet. And grounding the golden unifying energy right where we are. And we affirm it with the great invocations being recited in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Nekudat ha'or, asher bedat el, zrom ha'or, el dat ha'adam. 
ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشاع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب لقلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي إلى الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض From the point of light within the mind of God let light stream forth into the minds of men let light descend on earth From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Thank you very much, everyone. We can now share a few impressions. Whoever would like to, please raise your hand and you will be unmuted. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Uh, I, I was not sure that this hand is up or down, I must say. <laughs> uh, sorry. So thank you very much. I found it very nice. I found some kind in the moment of the anchoring of the energy especially uh, yeah, in Jerusalem and after, in our place. I kind of visualized um, like a, li yeah, a, a line of light through everyone going to the center of the earth. And since you said it is a color of um, like gold, golden color, but then it changed to red. Uh, okay. So this was um, one comment. And then I had a comment to do uh, about uh, the, what um, was discussed before the meditation, um, if I'm allowed to say something. Uh, Sonia, maybe we can first hear the, the very subtle impressions of the meditation afterwards you share. Yes, yeah, of course. Yes? Thanks. Yes, thank you. Mm, thank you. This is Dot from the USA. I, I hesitate to break this beautiful and powerful silence, but I wish to comment following the initial comment, for that was exactly my experience as well, yeah, particularly as Jerusalem, the line of light from Jerusalem to Darjeeling, which immediately lit up the other planetary centers and a couple beyond that, including Sydney and South Africa. And with that, 
drew back across what I'll call a light bridge in all of those and took a dive into the deep fiery core of earth. And then I realized that it extended the other way as well, up through the subtle into the fiery world as though a complete line of lighted, I'll call it lighted communication, but more than that, lighted communion was taking place in that moment. And want to say thank you to the Hechal group and all the groups involved in this, and certainly the group in Germany and all of you who meet regularly in Jerusalem for the retreats. It's so powerful for all of us to come together so intentionally uh, through invocation, through the evoking that occurs, and to see it light up lines of communion, of communication, makes my heart sing. So grateful to be part of this sacred circle. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Dot, for this weaving together. I just want to speak to the power of the component of this meditation that is relatively new, which enables us to not only create the network and distribute from Jerusalem, but to ground it back into our each of our places of being. It came to me today that it was just in grounding this energy into our places of being. We create a direct source of healing to and through the mother of the world. It's a direct network of spirit, through which spirit and the spirit of peace can infuse directly into the substance upon which we stand. It, it enables us to be, in a sense, an open, open channel directly into substance for our spiritual intention and all that we invoke to come into that substance and heal. Thank you, Andrea, for this comment directly into substance. Yeah. Jerusalem seems to have a special connection with substance. Good morning. This is uh, Shirley from Canada. Um, the impression I got uh, from our group was when we were over Jerusalem, there was a beautiful dark blue light that flowed from us, followed by a golden light. It flowed over the city like molten chocolate only with a gossamer quality. It flowed into and over everything and into the earth. And people were walking, animals were walking, and every step they took, I felt there was a white light under each step. And it was, um, again a feeling of healing and unity and there are immense possibilities to come thank you thank you shirley
How was it for the Jerusalemites? Hi, this is Ellen. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, it's okay. Please, please. Just, just one sentence that um, it was very good to, to sense the connection and betterness of us and all the network, but um, very, very difficult to really feel uh, feeling the the light um, gets into this hour it was very difficult for me the it's too tense now mm -hmm. yes i can say the same as a thought um in regular times i uh i give myself i open myself to the meditation and uh, and to the spirit of peace and to the golden light i must say that at the end of the meditation i began feeling more healed um and um the um, sharings the few sharings that have uh, been expressed now uh those are the human voices that allow the healing at this time in time of need so many blessings to you to you all i can share my impression this is alexander as we meditated, visualizing the precipitation of light into Jerusalem and distributing it through the network of light, a um, phrase came um, that Christ said, not peace, but sword I brought. And as we meditate with the energy of this spirit of peace, I recognize that that energy, it's really can create that polarization, that separation will lambs and goats and that's in a way what's happening everywhere in the planet not just in israel and uh, it's uh, the sword that creates this more clear difference between the old and the new and in a way it's uh, the energy of the spirit of peace manifests itself like that. It's not exactly what we imagine as peace, but as an energy that moves us into evolution.
That's a very deep thought. Elizabeth, I have unmuted you. Yes, I like to share a sense of uh, this Christ energy pouring through the planet. And I sense that we are just asked to open to it, to allow it to work through without expectation, but opening our hearts and radiating out whatever we receive. And this is especially easy when words don't need to be spoken so much, but rather to open the heart and become one with that flow of love. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Sonia. Um, I just uh, add something because I was, um, the comment of uh, Alexandro made me come to this comment now, uh, just to add something. Maybe related to what he said, that indeed, um, during this meditation, I had the impression that there is a very big veil at the moment, so it's very difficult to understand what is really happening. And many people, there are many group effects, like people all thinking something like about Russia, about Israel, about many, many countries, ideas, that massive ideas that maybe are veils to the reality, and this reality brings us somewhere, like Alexandra said. So one has to be very often open to this situation. And um, I had the, some idea came some moment in my mind explaining me something. I will tell you, maybe it's interesting for somebody. So during this meditation, or I don't know exactly, maybe at the end, came to me uh, some explanation or comment in my mind saying that in fact, uh, especially in Israel, many people do not accept the situation that they have a war in fact so they are just turning the all the astral plane and the mental plane into internal um, contradictions so they, they find another reason to be to to to, to invest the feelings and the problem without somehow like yeah, like it happens in groups dynamics. 
like a veiling again. This is a veiling effect. So this is just to say that, to remember that many be, there are many veils at the moment because there is many tensions worldwide. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Sonia. Indeed, many veils. We need to stay humble with our impressions. Nothing is sure. Yeah, perhaps it's best to stay with this silence. With you. Oh, a good equinox moment and beginning of the new astrological year, which will take us fast forward for sure. And uh, we stay together closely knit and see you next month. Shalom, salam.